What's up, sons? It's Blind Dragon with Son of the Tech once again, and today I wanted to go over some tips and tricks for Crossfire X, specifically the classic mode, and what you can do to just get better at the game, and maybe some things you weren't aware of that could help you uh, help you do that. So, first of all, this game is new, and it's only in um, what's known as kind of a closed beta, but you can get into it pretty easy by downloading the Insider Hub app from the Xbox store, so go ahead and do that if you want to play it. It is also Xbox only, so no PlayStation or PC currently. There is a new PC version coming out called Crossfire HD, but all of the betas are in Asia, and I'm not sure when a Western release date is going to be announced or anything like that. Once you get into the main screen, the first thing you want to do is check your settings. You can do this with the start button or by clicking the options menu in the top right with the cursor. Go ahead and hit RB once and you're going to take a look at your sensitivity. The default sensitivity is very high. We're talking 50 sensitivity and across the board everybody I've talked to has turned sensitivity down. Now how low you turn it, it's really up to your own preference and play style. For me personally, I'm the lowest that I've seen uh, from everybody I've talked to on Twitch and I'm at 25. Most people are hovering between 30 and 37. And some of the really good players that are using sniper rifles right now are around 37. Unfortunately, sound, you can't turn off this in-game music. So I am re-recording this video, unfortunately, because of that. Because it was a little too loud. The next thing you want to take a look at is your loadout. For the loadout, you have to set this before you get into the game. So picking weapons and stuff happens right here. So make sure you pick the weapons you want to use in your loadout screen before you start a game just ever first thing you want to do now my personal favorite weapons are going to be the chris super 5 and that's probably like third on the list second on the list is going to be the lewis gun and the reason for that is out of all the hip firing guns it appears to have the strongest aim assist or at least to me it feels like it does i could be incorrect here it could be the same across the board but maybe that's also because the weapon's heavier, so it stabilizes the aim, almost. And what you're going to find here with the aim assist is that it is uh, similar to precision from Call of Duty, where while you're strafing, if you get onto a target, it'll kind of lock onto it and hold. So my strategy typically is to go ahead and initiate the target with the strafe, and then let off the analog sticks and fire. It's similar to CSGO in the fact that your accuracy is going to go down while moving. So as soon as you get target acquisition, you want to stop moving the fire, move again, fire again, and that's how you're going to go about playing. Now, finally, the best gun in the game is the AWM sniper rifle. This is the best in all game types, game modes, and it's really strong. It's one bullet anywhere on the body, so you can pretty much take care of it. Uh, just with one bullet and I think it's going to be the meta for a long time. Other than that you want to check your throwing weapon on all your classes. You have grenade and smoke so those are going to be your main options. Finally the biggest thing that you need to take a look at is over in your profile and you can actually upgrade your entire account. Now across all game modes this does apply. I have confirmed it and the most important one you're going to want to take a look at is survival. Now, initially in the game, you don't have any health recovery, but once you get to survival up to three, then you start recovering health. And that's going to be important because obviously going into a gunfight with 100 health versus 17 health is going to be a lot more beneficial. It's going to allow you to get more than one kill a game or one kill and one assist or even if you're really good, two kills a game before you run out of health. This is going to prevent that problem. So then it becomes possible for you to, you know, 1v2, 1v3, and that sort of stuff. Now, going back to the home screen, the main game type is going to be Classic. So hopping into Classic, you're going to notice two maps, Black Widow and Laboratory. Black Widow is your typical bomb site game mode. So plant bomb, defend against planting bomb, one life. Laboratory is like some sort of odd uh, cloak versus uncloaked um, players and I don't really enjoy it that much but you know if you do let me know why you enjoy it down in the comment section below so we're gonna go ahead and click play all right so pre-game you'll see where the lanes are and so on the big one is the middle lane you can snipe fully across and it is pretty common for people to do that so be very careful uh, with middle lane and don't hang out in the spawn for very long 
So this is Crossfire X. First thing you're going to notice is that you can press X to change loadout. That's going to be very important, so make sure you do that and pick the weapons that you want. We're going to go with the Lewis gun right now. Another thing is, is we are on defense, so we do not have a bomb. But if we do have a bomb, to switch to the bomb, you want to hold Y. Keeping right hand advantage is very important in this game. And we do have some audio desync in the recording, I just noticed, so... I apologize for that. I was hoping to show you guys a little trick here. Alright, so there's the kill. If you go up to these barrels, you can jump and crouch to get on top of them. It can be a pretty big advantage, especially during defense, because then you get a good hiding spot. And these shadows, actually, you blend in with the shadows really, really well. All right, so 2v1, we couldn't make it after the rest of that, but that's kind of the idea. So big things to keep in mind is going to be right-hand advantage, keeping the large side of your screen uh, towards the enemy, and that's going to give you basically larger visibility, especially when going around corners. Uh, you'll see them before they see you, so keep that in mind. And then the other things just going to be map knowledge and where you can jump and that sort of thing, which is just going to take some practice. I showed you one with the barrels. You can get on top of these roofs where this guy is right here as well. And that and that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the tips and tricks and the, you guys found some some helpful things off there off of the video. If you did, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button down below. And check me out on Twitch. I'll be streaming this game every day, 3 a.m. to 7 a.m. Central Standard Time on twitch.tv slash blindrun. Link will be in the description below. See you next Tuesday.